Sweetie. Amelia, come on, let's get up. Mom, I had so many tests run last night. I'm so tired. I really just need to sleep. Fine, well, you get two more hours of sleep, okay? Why do you care? It's not like I'm leaving here. Well, we're doing a photo shoot here. Me and you are going to be in Vogue. Mom, Vogue, how did you even... They heard about how you're sick and how I'm a model. So they're going to just do a little bit of a campaign to raise awareness for your condition. Mom, I don't want that. I'm so tired. And that means I have to put on a mask. Then I have to shower thoroughly after they're gone. Yeah, well, that's okay. We're well, going to have a lot of supporters and fans if you do this. And you really don't have a choice. They're coming here in two hours, like I said. So you can get your sleep, do whatever, for two hours. And then they're going to be here, all right? All right, well, I'll see you later. The doctor will be in here for meds soon, okay? Okay, Mom. Love you, sweetie. Bye-bye. Bye, Mom. I better get up. Anyways, my name is Amelia. I have this very rare condition. It's like a type of cancer. I lose my hair from a medication, but it's nothing like cancer. Basically what it is, it affects my joints, my bones, and my immune system. I get super sick if I'm exposed to bad germs. So say you having a cold would be me laying in the hospital bed not being able to get up because of how weak I am. I can't walk almost three weeks after I'm feeling a little bit better. It weakens my bones. I don't really know what it is, neither do the doctors. But all I know is I'm probably going to live here the rest of my, my life. And I was just sick about three weeks ago. And it's really hard for me to walk. Hey, Amelia. Hey. I heard you're going to be in Vogue. That's so awesome. Yeah, I guess. And it's really hard for me to stand up. But I can. I also can walk a little bit. Not very far, though. And I pretty much just live in this bed. I never get out of it. Unless my mom wants me to do this stupid thing so she'll be famous. My mom is a model, and she practically just gets jobs because of me. She tells them about how her husband passed away when I was young, and how her daughter is very sick and in the hospital with an uncurable condition. It's like she's glad I'm sick. Sweetie, the doctor's really busy right now, so she can't give you the meds, so I just brought them in for you. Here you go. Mom, I need a drink. Dr. Haley always brings me an apple juice. Well, I don't want to pay for that apple juice in the vending machine. I'll go get you some water. And my mom's super cheap. Even though we have a decent amount of money, she just wants to look cheap so she gets more money for modeling agencies. I got you the apple juice because the Vogue people are here. So there, take your medicine quickly, please. Okay, mom. Here's your other pill. Thanks, mom. Yeah, no problem, sweetheart. Well, I gotta make sure I look good. So if the Vogue people come in here, make sure you put your mask on, okay? Okay, mom, I will. All right, sweetie, I'll be right back. Okay. Part one of this. I hope they're not going to be here long. I don't even know how the hospital is letting the Vogue people come in here. Hey, Amelia. Oh, hey, Dr. Haley. I heard you're going to be in Vogue. That's a big step. I don't really want to be. My mom's kind of forcing it on me. Oh, well, I see how it is. Well, they are here, so I'm going to need you to put your mask on, okay? They're going to be sanitized, but no mask, okay? They're not going to be wearing a mask. What if I get sick again? If you get sick again, we will talk to their producers and everything like that. But just please put your mask on. They're going to be in here any minute. And just make sure you shower completely afterwards. And we'll wash your outfit. And you can change into your backup one up there, okay? Okay, thank you, Dr. Haley. All right, well, I hope you have fun, sweetie. Yeah. Okay, I gotta put this on. Okay, guys, here she is. Mom, why is there so many people? And where are the cameras? Oh, yeah, where are the cameras? We have this new thing. And there's just, like, cameras on us. So we can get the best photos. Oh, all right. Well, can we interview you guys? Especially you. How about you just interview me? Well, she is a sick one. I really want to hear about her story and everything she's been through. Well, I've been through much worse. Um, okay, I guess we can hear about you. Well, my husband died when she was three months old. And then we lived a pretty normal life until she turned ten. And she just got, like, really sick one time. She couldn't walk, so she called the ambulance. And now we're here. Four years later, she's still sitting in here. Oh my gosh, that's awful. How's your life been in here? Um, no, you can't ask me these questions. I would actually like to hear it through her. I don't need to hear your opinion about it. I just need her. Oh. Um, it's it's been hard. My friends come and visit sometimes, but they're really not allowed to because then I have to take a shower, change my clothes, change my sheets and everything. Oh, well, that seems absolutely awful. Well, we really don't want to keep you too longer, much longer. I hope you have a great day. You'll probably see yourself in the Vogue magazine and maybe on TV in the next few months. Thank you so much for your time again. No problem. I hope you get better. Why did you let them talk to you? 
You were supposed to let me talk about myself, and I can answer all questions for you. Mom, I really have to get to the showers. Can we please just talk about this later? I'm too scared I'm gonna get sick. Fine, whatever, but I'll be waiting here for you. Mom, I don't think it's a good time. Please just leave. You asking your own mother to leave? The one who's paying for your medical bills? Fine, Mom, stay. I don't care. But I need to go shower and change all this stuff out. So I'll talk to you later if you're still here. Okay, I'm gonna sit right here. She comes back from showering and stuff. Sweetie. Oh, hey, Mom. They kicked me off your chair because they said they washed this. Oh, good. I can put this back. It's unacceptable how they treat me here. They made me get out of my own seat just to put your clothing down. Oh, that's sad. You know, I'm not really liking this attitude with you. Well, maybe, Mom, if you didn't just barge a bunch of, like, interviewers into my hospital room, we'd be on a little bit of a different page. <sighs> Whatever. You're lucky I'm still paying for your hospital bills. You're lucky I'm getting you famous. Do not say that. kid. Sweetie, why would you think I'm just using you to be famous? I love you. You're my daughter. And I hate that you're sick. Well, Mom, it seems like you're using me all the time. It seems like you're using my illness just for you to be famous. That is not what is happening at all. What's a way I can make it up for you? Maybe you could get me a sleeping bag, a heater, and some candy or something. It's so cold. Oh, no, are you getting sick again? Let me go get the doctor. Oh, I better not be getting sick. Doctor, can you please come check out my daughter? She says she's cold. Um, yeah, I guess I can. All right, Amelia. Um, let me take your temperature real quick. Okay, it looks like you don't have a fever, so I think you're okay. Oh, thank goodness. All right, well, just call me back in if you have any other concerns. I will. All right, sweetie, well, I'll get you a heater, a sleeping bag, and all that stuff. She's not going to be doing that to be nice. She's doing that so she can win me back, and then she can invite more people here. But, I mean, I guess I'll take advantage of it. I'm just so cold right now. I'm just going to sleep. Okay, sweetie, you got to wake up, girl. Mom, what are you doing? You got me so much stuff. Of course I did. Okay, so I got you this magazine to read in case you're bored. Oh my gosh, I love this magazine. I love everything nature-y. Put this right here for now, and I'll organize it all later. Of course I got you your own phone. Oh my gosh, it's wrong. Oh my, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Thank you so much. I got you a few pairs of pajamas and then just like another outfit to wear like out if you were ever to go out. I also got you a robe to wear when like you get out of the shower. Just put these right there for you. I got you this little sleeping bag, um, two stuffies, a pillow, and then some snacks and a backpack to carry around the hospital, and of course a heater. Then this flower pot to like put right there, and there you go. Thank you so much, Mom. No problem, sweetie. Well, I gotta go, okay, because I have a job. I hope you like it. There's also more stuff coming from fans, I think, so I just sent the address to them since they were asking for it to send you stuff. And yeah, okay, I'll be right back. I'll actually not really. I'll be back later. I love you. Bye. Bye, Mom. Thank you. Love you. I can't believe she actually got me all this stuff. This must have cost her a fortune. Um, I'm just gonna start unpacking. I think I can walk a little bit. Let's do a transition. I just love this so much. Hey, girl. Oh, your room is decorated. It looks so cute. My favorite touch is definitely the watermelon pillow. Thank you. All right, sweetie, well, I, I'm gonna get your meds, okay? And then you probably have to get to sleep, okay? Okay, Dr. Haley. All right, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Um, what is that green thing in your hand? All right, so I know it looks scary, but it is a pill to fight off any big germs. Um, it is gonna give you a little bit of effect. You will be very weak for the next few days, but it will be well over worth it. Um, okay, I guess I'll take it. All right, well, here's the first pill. You wanna take that one first, okay? Okay. Now let's take this one. That wasn't so bad, right? Three of the sick kid. All right, well, you're done for with medication for today. I'll come and check in with you later, okay? All right, thanks, Dr. Haley. Oh, no problem. Okay, I guess I'll just look at my new phone. And it is so cold in here. I'm gonna turn on my heater. And I'm just gonna put this on. I guess I'll take this, my head wrap off too. I'll put it here. Buzz, buzz, buzz. That's mom. Hey, mom speedy um i'm having people come in to your room just to like look at it see what your life is like so just make sure you're awake okay we'll be there in about an hour mom it's 8 30 they're coming at 9 30 i'm for sure gonna be asleep by then well i'll just wake you up when they get here all right call you back later bye i love you Mwah. oh wait also i have a basket of gifts for you so i'll bring them to you when um i come with the interview people all right bye bye are you actually serious I better get sleep now. 
Okay, sweetie, you gotta wake up. Mom, can I just go back to sleep? No, sweetie. Come on, get up, get ready, do whatever you need. Also, here are all your gifts. Um, you also have to open them in front of everybody. So just be prepared for that. I'm gonna go freshen up in the bathroom to make sure I look amazing. Well, you better be ready when I get back. Okay, bye, I love you. Oh my gosh. I literally hate this. I just don't want to do it anymore. I do not need the interview people seeing me crying like this. Okay, just take this off. I'll put this back on. I'll put this down there. And I'm pretty hungry, so I'm going to get some snacks out of my backpack. I guess I'll have some of these. I guess I have to turn the heater off too. And I'll just eat. Okay, sweetie, she's here. You gotta start opening your gifts, okay? Yeah, I might just need to see you open the gifts just to make sure you're thankful for all the fans that are supporting you through this time. Okay, sweetie, let's grab some gifts, please. Uh, okay, mom. I'll get this one. A toy? Okay. Um, I'll get this one, too. Head lotion? Uh, I heard that it's pretty good. Yeah, I guess. Well, let's check this one. Ooh, a notebook. This might be fun. I actually really like this. She opens up the rest of them. Okay, one of the last ones. Baby lotion. I guess this is for my body. Sweetie, I just got more delivered. You have to open all these too. Oh, great. Thanks, Mom. Um, are you not thankful for all the gifts you get? Oh, oh no, no, I'm very thankful for them. Oh, a pillow. Don't know where I'm gonna put this. Another toy. Slime? A hairbrush? I don't even have hair. Everybody just get out of my room. Take all of these stupid gifts and just take all your stupid cameras. Ow! This is unbelievable. I can't believe someone who is in this condition will act like this. With all the gifts you're getting. Part 3 of the sick kid. Sick kid. Why would you do that? You're completely ruining my career. You just practically ruined it. The new headline is going to be Mo Famous model's daughter throws hairbrush at interviewer. Do you know how bad that's going to look for me? Mom, do you know how bad life is for me? You have these stupid interviewers coming into my room all the time. All the time. Looking at me, trying to take pictures of me, interviewing me for stupid things. I'm probably not even going to live through this. Because Dr. Haley just sent me an email and it's probably going to be telling me that I'm going to die soon. Why would you ever say that? Because it's true. You just don't want to accept it because you're not going to be famous anymore. You're my only daughter. Yeah, the only daughter that can get you famous. I'm done. Stop bringing these stupid interviewers into my room. Stop just, just, just stop pretending you're actually cool and famous. I mean, I know you might be famous, but you're not cool. You're not cool for making your sick daughter go through all this. You know what? Just leave. I'm going to ask Dr. Haley to put me in a different room. Just so I can be more comfortable when I die. Uh, uh we're not talking like this. You're going to stay in this hospital, in this room, and I am going to do whatever I want. Because are you the one paying for your medical bills? I mean, I practically can because of how famous I am. Because of you. You should be glad you're famous. Fine, if you're already famous, I'm not going to pay for your hospital bills. I'm not even going to come visit you anymore. Fine, go ahead. I hate you, mom. I can't believe it. I hate it here. I just hate it. What's the point of sitting here? My mom just wants to be famous because of me. She doesn't even care that I'm unhealthy. That I probably don't even have long to live. Hey, Amelia. Hey, what's wrong? Did, 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 did you read my email? No, I'm not yet. I just got into a fight with my mom. Sweetie, I gotta tell you something. I mean, it's in my email. But I thought it'd be better if I told you about this in person. What is it? Um, y you only have this month to live. Your condition. I found something in your blood results. It's a germ that, for a normal person, will get them very, 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 very sick. But it's not life-threatening for them. It's very life-threatening for you. And depending how long it's been in your system, you probably won't make it for very much longer. Three months is the max. But I think you probably won't even make it through this month. I'm so sorry to tell you this. I'll leave you be so you can process this. I'm getting a new room set up for you. You're gonna be able to move out of this hospital and spend your last few days, months, or weeks in a more comfortable room with more people your age and more people that have your condition. There's only 10 other kids that have your condition, but luckily they're all in your age range. So you're gonna be moving tomorrow. I hope your mother comes and helps you pack up. I'm telling her to come in here. She's sitting outside. I hope your mother helps you pack. And I hope you guys are able to make amends in your last few weeks, days, or months. Again, you'll be moving tomorrow morning. I'm really sorry again. 
I'll go get your mother and bring her in here. Part, part six of the sick kid. I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. Sweetie, I heard the news. I'm sorry for everything. I, I was just using you. But, but now I don't want to do. You're my only daughter and I really, really don't want you to go. It's okay, Mom. I forgive you. But, I mean, you could help me pack. And, hey, I still have a pretty long... I mean, a month to three months, maybe even more. Just, let's not be sad about it now. We can be sad about it later. I just need help packing this up. I'm actually really excited to move. Okay, I'll, I'll pack it up for you. You get some rest. Thanks, Mom. Okay, I guess I have to get this all packed up. Okay, I'm all done. I better go to sleep. Tomorrow's gonna be a big day. The next morning. Okay, sweetie. It's time to go. I got all your stuff packed up last night. Okay, Mom. Um, just get ready and hop in your wheelchair. I'm gonna take this out to the car. Okay, Mom. And I'm also gonna take out your sleeping bag. Okay, I'll be back in soon. I can't believe it. My last day of being here. It's sad, but I guess I'm kind of glad to get out of this hospital room and move into somewhere that actually might feel a little bit more like home. I know Dr. Hay's gonna be my doctor still, though, so that's gonna be good. I'm just gonna go out to the car by myself. I think I'm capable of doing that. They drive to the new place they're staying at. Okay, sweetie, I love you so much, but I'm not allowed to get out here because they don't want cross-contamination with uh, their kids. I'll see you soon, I hope. I love you so much, and remember that. Okay, Mom, bye, I love you. Oh, I cannot see anything. I think I'm going to the front desk. Hello, darling. Oh, hi. What's your name? I need to check you into your room. My name's Amelia. Sweetie, what's your full name? I need to know your full name. Amelia Johnston. Um, okay, I see you in the system. Let me just make double check. Okay, yep, you're in there. Let me scan you, your number. Okay, sweetie, here's your, like, bag for toilet, the trees and stuff. Put it in there for you. All right, your room is the first one all the way to the left. Have an amazing stay. She's a bit odd. Oh, looks like it's my room. Put my stuff down. Whoa, my room's giant. I can't believe I'm here all by myself. I don't know why they won't let my mom in. I really need help unpacking. But I think I'll be able to walk. Dr. Haley said I probably will be able to. Oh, wow, it feels so weird to walk. I'll put my wheelchair somewhere, though. I'll put it right here. Okay, time to unpack. Alrighty, I'm all unpacked. I probably should go meet some of the people that live here. I know there's a lot of people my age. I'll start with my next door neighbors, I guess. I probably should knock first. I wonder if they'll answer. Hey, girl. Oh my gosh, you're the new girl. Yes. Oh, hey. You can come in after you get out of that hospital gown. Okay, I guess we'll go change. Okay, now will you let me in? Of course, come in. Thank you. All right, I guess I'll start the tour. This is part six of the sick one of the sick kid. All right, let's start the tour. This is my sister, Madeline. I'll explain her more after I'm done with the tour of our room. She has a lot of space, but follow me. Okay. By the way, Madeline's my sister. Oh, that's cool. You and your sister both have the same disease as me. We're twins, so yeah. Then this is my side. It's small, but I love it. It even has a TV. All right, here, you can sit in this chair right there. Thanks. I'm gonna explain Madeline first because she's a little bit of a tricky person to explain. Madeline hasn't woken up in 30 days. 30? Yep, her condition is much worse than ours. I mean, assuming that you don't sleep for 30 days on end. No, I do not. Yeah, I don't really know every detail about it, but do you have the germ yet? The germ that only gives you three months to live? Yeah. Yeah, I have that. I'm actually currently having that. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's why I'm here. My mom wanted me to be comfortable the last few months, and she didn't want me to be rotting in a hospital bed. So, I guess I'm here. But I like it much better here already. Yeah, that's the same when I got transported here. Anyways, Madeline doesn't have that germ. Oh, so her condition, she just kind of will be weak the rest of her life? You would think that, but no. She has a bunch of other immune diseases, which one of them, of course, causes her to sleep. But she pretty much will only die of old age. But her life will be really miserable. We won't be in pain when we go. She will be. I don't really want to get into it too much. It's really sad and I just really don't want to think about it. 
but Madeline should wake up in the next few days. She only sleeps for about a month, maybe a month and a half. And normally it's just a month, so she's close. Anyways, sorry for putting your mood down. No, it's okay. I'm glad I learned a little bit about Madeline. I mean, I probably might not even meet her. I'm sure you will. I'll show you our cafeteria. Oh, okay. Here it is. You can only get snacks from here. You don't get full meals. Unless you really want one. There's some in there. But they bring our meals to us so there's no cross-contamination. They're really strict about that here. Now follow me. I'll show you the bathrooms. Okay. This is our bathroom. So me, you, and Madeline will all share this. And then the boys' room and bathroom is in there. But we're not allowed to go in there. The boys in there are very, very sick. If we go in there, we will get very, very sick. So we're not allowed to go in there. I don't think I've even met any of the boys that live in there. But come on, let's go back to our room. We should catch up. Here, let's sit here and we can talk. So we don't maybe wake Madeline. Actually, I'd like if she woke up. But yeah, let's just talk. She explains her whole life. Wow. I've only had this disease since I was part, part 8 of the sick kid. Wow, you've had our condition much longer than I have. I've only had mine since I was 12, and now I'm 14. Yep, I've had it for the past four years, but it's okay. I hope I am get better soon, but again, I have the germ, so I doubt it. Yeah, I don't have the germ yet. Well, enough talking about sad stuff. I think I need to get to bed. And if one of the nurses come in and see us in the same room talking to each other, she will not be very happy. All right, well, I'll see you in the morning. Good night. I guess I should get ready for bed, too. <coughs> Ugh, I'm not really feeling too well. It's okay. I'm probably just adjusting to my new place. I'm not getting sick. Okay, my heater's on. I'm gonna turn on the TV if, so I can watch something while I fall asleep. No, I gotta turn off the lights. Take this off. Put my blanket on. And go to sleep. The next morning. <sighs> I better get up. I gotta go get my head wrap. She falls. Ow. Why did I fall? Ugh. It's okay. I just got to get my head wrap. I don't know if I can make it back to my bed. I'll try. Ugh. I probably should just go back to sleep. Hey, girl. Oh, you're still asleep. Amelia? Amelia, are you okay? Can you go get a nurse? I, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. I'll go get one. Dr. Hadley, we need you. Amelia. Oh, yeah. Let let's go. Come on. Hey, can you get me her a drink? Just in case I need, she needs something to drink, maybe she's dehydrated. Please just hurry up, though. I will. I'll get her water. Amelia, sweetie, we have to get you up in an your wheelchair so I can examine you, okay? Okay. Alright. I'm gonna have to give you a shot, okay? Okay. Okay, grab my emergency bag. I'm just gonna do everything that needs to be done, and hopefully I'll feel better afterwards. Dr. Haley, I think you were wrong about the three months. I think it's more like maybe 30 days. I, I don't think I can do this. Sweetie, it's okay. I'm just going to give you a little bit of an examination, like I said. And I'm sure you're fine. You're probably just a little bit tired. We're going to put you back to sleep after this is done. Okay. All right, let me just get my stethoscope out. Okay, so your breathing's a little abnormal, but it's probably just because you're a little stressed out. Okay, time for the shot. Let me get it. All right, this should make you feel a little bit better. And now you have to take a pill, okay? Here, just take this. Alrighty, you should be good. Your blood sugar might have been a little low, but I'm gonna just leave this back in your room just in case I need it, okay? That's fine. All right, I'll be back later to check on you, okay? Hey, are you okay? <laughs> no, I know we just met yesterday, but you feel like my best friend. And I'm sorry, but I don't know how long I'm gonna make it. Don't say that, please. How does it, kid? Allie, I'm so sorry. Hey, you're gonna make it. Just don't talk bad about it. We can have a lot of fun still. Allie. Oh my gosh, that's Madeline. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay. Allie, can you help me? I need my crutches. Yeah, of course. Here, I'll get one. Oh, I forgot to give this to Amelia. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I gave it to her. Let me grab this one. Here, come down. I'll get you. Here. Okay, let's take this off, and I have to put this on to you, and put your mask on. Thank you so much, Allie. Who are you talking to? Oh, her name's Amelia. She's right next door. She's the new girl here. Whoa, that's so cool. Can I go meet her? Yeah, of course. Come on. Okay, thanks. Amelia, this is Madeline. Hi, Madeline. Hi. Why are you in a wheelchair? You look fine. 
I have the germ and I just had a little bit of an episode. It was really weird this morning. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna go lay back down or just gonna gonna go lay in your chair and watch some TV if that's okay. Oh yeah, that's fine. Let me know if you need anything. Oh okay, thanks. Here, let's hang out in your room tonight. I think it will be a lot better for you. Come on, let's go to the couch. And then Madeline will maybe will come in and we can watch a movie. Okay, that sounds great. I think I can walk over there. Here, I'll help you. Oh my gosh, let's pick out a movie. Let's watch this. This is one of my favorite movies. Okay, I've never seen it before. The whole day goes by. Um, I don't feel good. Amelia, Amelia, wake up. Amelia, you have to wake up. Please, come on. Dr. Haley, come here right now. We need you. Here it is. Amelia, she fell asleep. She said she didn't feel good and now she won't wake up. Please help her. Okay, okay. Go into your room, okay? I'm just gonna check her out. Oh, yay. Amelia, you have to wake up for me, sweetie. Okay, I knew I was gonna need this. Okay, I have to... Okay, this should wake you up instantly. Amelia! Mm. Amelia, wake up! Okay, I need to feel your, your heartbeat. Okay, I gotta find it. No, Amelia! Sweetie! Okay, I'm gonna take this for this thing. I tried so hard, I wanted you to live. I'm so sorry. This can't be real, you're joking, this can't be real. Amelia, sweetie, wake up! Wake up, Amelia! Oh my gosh, you're really gone. I'm so sorry. Let me go get the other doctors. I have to go check on Amelia. Amelia, are you okay? No, Amelia. I can't, I can't, I gotta go to my room. I'm so sorry. A few years later. I can't believe it's already been 15 years since you passed. I really miss you. I know we didn't know each other long, but it felt like you were my best friend. I'll miss you forever and always. I also brought you your favorite flowers. All right. Cuckoo. Oh, Amelia, you're so cute. Mommy. Aw, we better get going. Okay, guys, this is the last part. I'm not going to be posting.